I just felt my nose became more transparent like the tip of my nose was becoming more transparent and I know for a fact that the implant that they used on me is an L shaped implant a silicone L implant and what the L implant does is that the tip of it sometimes it can poke through your skin it does not always happen it could happen but that fear I just couldn't get rid of so I just finished with my surgery and it looks super stupid with oh my god I would just poke myself with all this stuff my god i feel like they put so much stuff on me like this big thingy i look so stupid so i wanted a mask but then this mask looked really stupid too so overall i just look really stupid but yeah um i'm feeling okay I'm just really hungry the worst part about surgery is not the surgery itself or how painful it is it's just how hungry i am but uh um, yeah this is my my new self that because of how swollen it is, I can't really tell like the true height of my nose and I can't really tell like the shape of it or anything, but I'm just gonna wait till it stops swelling and we'll see, we'll see. Low-key excited, but low-key nervous too. I've had the implant for the past four to five years, so I don't really know what I look like anymore without the implant, so we're gonna see. And uh, they said they couldn't take out the fillers, like the liquid fillers, so, um, I think I'm still gonna have something in it, but hopefully it's gonna be a lot better. I hope this wouldn't be as wide anymore, and um, I hope my nose will look fine. I got it down here in LA at this place called Wave Beauty, not sponsored or anything. I just wanted to be like super transparent. I think it was done by the owner of the hospital, I think. Uh, I think his name's Dr. Lee. It was a very quick decision because I wanted to get Botox done on my cheeks, but then I actually got my nose implant removed instead. And uh, they also asked me, do I want something else put inside? But after all that I've been through and all the fears of like having the implant poke out of my skin and having the implant looked unnatural under the sun, I I decided to not get anything in my nose so that was a completely just a removal process and if I remember the price I'll tell you the price but um, I remember it wasn't too too expensive probably a couple thousand dollars which is like reasonable because I mean it's operation right so yeah I took it out a couple days in bed a couple days of like eating only liquid things that was kind of very uncomfortable but I made it I made it this is my current nose this is my natural nose nothing is inside no implant no nothing and 
and so um this is what it looks like honestly like seeing my natural nose it doesn't look as bad as i thought in the past i thought it looked really bad because i had implants that were not suitable for my face i had like one super high implant that was my second procedure and i had a super small implant which made like this part of my nose super high but my bridge like not actually high so it made my nose look even more flat so what's really important is to find a doctor that suits your aesthetic needs not every doctor has the same like aesthetics so make sure to find one that matches with yours but thinking back would I have done those two procedures? Probably, because at that time I was just so insecure about my nose. I was very depressed, unhappy. It's probably like a mental thing. I probably did not look ugly. Like looking back on my photos, I don't think I was an ugly human being, but I think I was just very unhappy and very self-conscious and had low self-esteem. So I thought something on the outside would make me feel more confident. And for a while it did, but then I saw the bad like negative consequences and I saw how my nose tips started getting red and the sides of my nose started getting red and so I decided to take my implant out and honestly it was such a relief like taking the implant out was such a relief I just felt super happy I'll also find a picture of the implant itself because I think it's pretty interesting to see the implant but um yeah I just seen the implant wow this large thing was sitting in my nose for such a long time and now that I finally took them out it actually sounds like a similar feeling to people who had their breast implants taken out I have not had any breast implants or any implant on my body but but um, it just kind of sounds like that because I also heard some stories, watched some videos about breast implants and how after they removed their breast implants, they felt freedom, they felt relief, they felt like their body is theirs again and they just felt this, like I guess, this mental relief and uh, happiness joy. I also felt the same thing. I felt a lot of relief that I don't have to worry about my nose anymore and that this currently, no matter like even if I stand in the sun or under bright light, I won't be afraid of my nose being like transparent or red. I was really afraid. I was really paranoid when I got my nose done, like especially towards the end when it became more and more red, more and more transparent because I was scared that people would ask me, hey Cherry, why is your nose transparent? I'm pretty sure no one would be so like, I guess low EQ to ask someone that question, but I was just so, so, so afraid of someone saying that to my nose and um, yeah now that the implant is taken out I am really really happy that I can stand in the Sun I can stand um, in front of bright lights and I can go to places I don't have to worry about people judging me by my nose and obviously like probably 9% of this is just a mental game no one really cares about your nose as much as you do but as a self-conscious person that I still am I do care if my nose looks weird from normal people doing this video was hard it was really hard I don't know what comments I'm gonna get but I just want to put this video out there to those of you that may not be happy about your nose or for those of you that had an implant that you're not satisfied with things like that happen and just to be completely completely transparent with you guys from all my research nose like nose surgery nose plastic surgery or I think there is rhinoplasty rhinoplasty is among one of the most difficult procedures ever because the structure of your nose is actually very complex and even like a tiny different difference in the implant itself can change your whole face can change your whole face just imagine like just use a random photo of you and start using facetune or something to fine-tune your features to uh li liquidify is that the word for it <laughs> just to find a picture and then start playing with the shape of your nose you will realize that the nose has such a big part in your face a good nose can make your face a bad nose can break your face basically it can really make or break a situation so be super careful when you choose your hospital I was really lucky like I was lucky not only in the fact that I still look like a human being after the procedure or maybe I even look somewhat prettier after the procedure I was really lucky I could have died I could have died from that and I just want you to to know that like please don't go to like workshops like who the f goes to workshops for operations it's just ridiculous just thinking back if i were, were to meet myself like i don't know seven years ago i would have slapped myself and be like what the f is wrong with you and why were you injecting those substances into your own nose like what is wrong with you like i was so mad at myself like just thinking back if i were to meet that girl again i would stop her your appearance is not that important i think um another aspect of that is that when i was around that age like 16 17 
2016, I was surrounded by like the modeling industry. I was like a little involved with the modeling industry there in Shanghai. And so I was surrounded by pretty girls, by gorgeous people. And most of them had work done. Like, let's be real. A lot of models, a lot of people you see on magazines or a lot of influencers, they had work done. And I had work done too. I'm going to be totally transparent with you guys because yeah, I'm just telling you this, like my work done, my nose job procedure. And so a lot of people had work done. And with the comparison thing, it's like if you're competing with someone and they're all running with running shoes and you're running barefoot, you'll want to get running shoes. So that's how I felt with my own face. Like if they all had work done and they look so much prettier than you, I want to get work done too. So that's what I thought. And it's like the whole competition mentality, the whole I'm not good enough and the whole self-conscious about my looks. And it was so bad to the fact that I would lose sleep over the way I look, which is like super bad and I hated my looks. And so yeah, that's when I did injections, which led to the implant because the injections were spreading. And so I had to take the injections out, but my skin was getting loose so I wanted to get like some sort of implant in but that implant was too small that made me look even uglier so I got my second implant and then my second implant was too large and then it started becoming transparent and so now I just took everything out because I'm just so sick of worrying I don't like worrying about anything I don't like worrying about my face I don't like worrying about my implants I don't like worrying about investments I just want to live a worry-free life because I'm the type that would overthink a lot and overanalyze a lot and do a lot of research on things just like things that happen in my life if I get a stomach ache I would google like if I have pain in this part of my stomach does that mean I'm gonna die like I'm literally gonna do that if that happens to me so yeah just with my personality I don't think I should go through another like surgical procedure if there is something that is injection related perhaps I'll consider but anything surgical I just don't think I should do anything surgical <laughs> at the moment I hope this video helped you I am really an open book I share all my life stories on YouTube. I just hope that my experience can help someone. I really found a lot of comfort just listening to other people's stories and learning about other people's experiences and just relating to them. And I want to do the same for this community. I just want to empower each other and uplift each other. And I hope that you can also appreciate my honesty. See you in my next video.